These are custom 3D printable wheels designed to fit most of 118 scale RC cars, such as the Traxxas Titan. They've got a standard 12mm hex mount and are secured with a simple screw. Our custom 3D printed wheels actually a good option for RC cars. Today I'm going to find out. Here is what we will be looking at. Expansion during rotation. Tire grip. Acceleration, speed and handling. And finally the price. But first, let's take a closer look at these custom tires. You've probably seen that viral advertisement with the futuristic airless tires, right? I used a similar idea, creating flexible tires that don't need any air. They are printed with TPU filament. Now it's time to test them out. When RC wheels spin at high speed, they tend to stretch and balloon out. That's a real problem, even real car tires have speed limits to prevent blowout. I'll test the wheel on Titan's maximum speed, about 3700 RPM. That's not crazy fast for RC, but it's still a solid test. I've suspended the Titan in the air so the wheels can hit their maximum RPM without resistance. But before testing the custom ones, let's see how the stock wheels handle high speed rotation. I was honestly surprised that the stock tires weren't well balanced. Now let's compare the 3D printed tires. I've got to say, I'm proud of this. I didn't expect them to perform this well. And I definitely didn't expect the kit tires to be that wobbly. It's tough to say if the rubber tires are actually expanding or if it just looked that way because of how fast they are jumping around. Either way, the printed tires held up surprisingly well. That's a solid point for them. The next important parameter is grip. It affects acceleration and handling. Tires from the kit are made from soft rubber, which is why they have decent grip on all surfaces. The downside is that they wear out quickly. My tires are made from TPU filament, which is flexible but still far from real rubber. I'll be testing the tires on four surfaces – indoor concrete, asphalt, outdoor concrete and grass. How will I measure grip? Easy. I'll use a hook scale. As the car pulls, the scale will show how much force it exerts. I'll attach a microcore to the bumper of the RC car. The other end will be connected to the scale, which will be securely fixed to a surface. The first test is on a concrete floor. Instantly a major flaw appears. I need to add some sort of railing to prevent the car from skidding sideways. Some wooden bricks will work fine. That was wild! I ran a few more tests, the best result was 825 grams. I charged the battery between each test to ensure a fair comparison. Honestly, that was disappointing. The scale showed only 310 grams. That's almost three times less than the rubber tires. It was obvious that the rubber tires pulled much harder. Rubber tires score a point on a smooth concrete. Next up, the asphalt test. The TPU tires pulled 425 grams on this surface, 
better than on concrete but still nowhere near 800. Now let's see how the rubber tires perform. They peaked at 960 grams, nearly twice the force of TPU. Once again rubber takes the win. Now let's move on to the raw concrete. Not bad, but we still remember the 960 grams from the rubber tires. Let's see what they do here. That was intense. However, something went wrong with the transmission. In the middle of the madness, the front wheel stopped. A closer look revealed a piece of the drive shaft lying on the concrete. I had to admit, I broke the Traxxas Latrax Niton during the final test. But what about grip? It was 850 grams. Again, one point goes to the rubber tires on outdoor concrete. I can't repair the Titan right now, but I don't need to. The tests are still valid as long as we run them under the same conditions. Now it's time for the next test on grass. Not bad, the rubber tires consistently show over 800 grams. Even with only rear wheel drive. TPU tires are also consistent. But they showed about how the force ranging from 300 to 400 grams. I didn't expect two things. TPU tires to have significantly less grip and the Teton to be this fragile. Come on guys, you can do better. One more thing I want to mention, not all TPU filaments are the same. For this test I used Erewhon 95A. It's one of the cheapest options out there, but also one of the least flexible. I could have gone with something like Ninja Flex 82A, which is way more flexible, but it costs around a hundred bucks and is a real pain to print with, and requires a special printer. So what this a fair comparison? Let me know what you think in the comments. Before the next test I need to fix that broken drive shaft. First I'll remove the wheel. Then I'll detach the wheel hub and slide out the shaft. The same process is used on the other side to remove the broken piece. Now it's time to swap it with a stronger metal replacement. Simply reverse the steps to reassemble everything. And there we go, everything is in place. And those shiny blue metal shafts are looking great in sunlight. This next test is about acceleration, speed and handling. I'll be using the same car with the same battery level on the same asphalt road to keep things fair. The idea is simple, first I'll measure out 20 meters of fishing line. Then I'll mark the starting point with some tape and secure the line to draw it. Finally I'll mark the 20 meter point with more tape. Sure, the line might stretch a bit, so it won't be perfect 20 meters, but that's ok. I'm just looking for consistent comparison, let's do it. Yep, I'm terrible RC driver, even though I tried my best. One more try. Was anyone really surprised? After a few retries, I finally managed to gather some usable data.
the runs weren't perfectly straight, but I did 5 attempts and recorded the best one. Then I recharged the battery and swapped on the TPU tires. Worse than my first try, honestly. <laughs> That was one of my best tries. Here is the set rules. TPU tires are not made for drag racing on asphalt. The car has too much torque and the tires just spin out. At full throttle it's hard to keep the car under control. I don't think that we need any numbers to see that this was an epic drag racing fail. When I started working on the tires I wanted to say that they are the best. Now I don't want to lie, they are not better than the stock rubber ones. Sure, they don't expand at high speeds, but they definitely have less grip. Speed isn't significantly affected, but acceleration and handling take a hit. That said, they are not worse either. How is that possible? Well, they just serve a different purpose. They are super affordable, you could print hundreds of them for the cost of a single Truxa Star kit. So if you are a pro racer aiming for a championship, go ahead and invest in the top tire tires. But if you are into drifting, training, experimenting or just want to have some fun without breaking the bank, feel free to download the 3D printable tires. Links in the description. Cheers!